Hello everyone, this is Steve Marinucci welcoming you to another Beatles News Briefs. Today is October 15th, 2018, and we got a few things to let you know about. Um, first of all, uh, the McCart- uh, McCartney setlist watch. Uh, he played Friday night at the uh, for the second uh, and last show at the Austin City Limits Festival uh, that he'd uh, planned to do. Um, the set list did change from the previous Friday nights. Um, he made three changes. He moved uh, High, High, High down to the encore, uh, the first song in the encore. And he replaced uh, songs two and three. Uh, high, High, High was number two last week um, with Junior's Farm and followed that up with All My Lovin'. The rest of the set stayed the same. And again, we thank the McCartney Press Office for supplying that uh, information. Um, he uh, he tweeted that that's the last show in the U.S. for the near future. Uh, farewell USA for a while, um, they said on their Twitter account. Um, the next scheduled McCartney shows are October 31st and November 1st at the Tokyo Dome in Japan. The other big news of the week, or the last couple of days, I should say, is the story that uh, official charts in the UK, which is the equivalent of Billboard here in the US, um, came out with the results of a poll um, that they counted down uh, on Saturday um, on BBC Radio 2 with the uh, favorite, uh, all-time favorite studio albums uh, of the British public. The number one pick was Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. And actually, the top ten has some some good choices in it. Uh, number two uh, is 21 by Adele. Number three was The Story, Morning Glory by Oasis. Number four, Dark Side of the Moon. Number five, Thriller. Number six, Brothers in Arm by Dar Straits. Number seven, Bad by Michael Jackson. Number eight, Rumors by Fleetwood Mac. Number nine, Back to Black by Amy Winehouse. And number... 10, 25 by Adele. Um, after the top 10, t- though, the picks get a little kind of strange. As uh, And British polls um, have had some picks that Americans would never pick over the, over the years. Uh, that's why I kind of didn't pay too much attention to this poll when I first saw it. But... Uh, there are some interesting picks as you go down the list to number 40. Number 17 is Bridge Over Tro- Troubled Waters. Number 27, another another question mark, is uh, Spice by Spice Girls. Number 32, I found really interesting, is War of the Worlds by Jeff Wayne. And if you've heard that album, you know. It's, a kind of, it's an all-star album. It's an interesting album. And number 36 is Tubular Bells by Michael Oldfield, which uh, I have not heard for a long, long time. Uh, that was a, a great album back in the day. But anyway, um, so there, there's those. Um, one thing I forgot to do last week, or last time, last week, um, when I mentioned the Brian Southall book was mentioned the title. The title is The White Album, Revolution, Politics, and Recording – the Beatles and the World in 1968, um, and the forward in, on the on the book is by uh, Chris Thomas. So, and it's 192 pages, and like I said, it came out in, the, in Britain on the 4th of October. So, um, there we go. And one more piece of news: um, Paul McCartney is having uh, has released two videos for "Come On to Me." Uh, in the past week or so, and he's having a competition looking for fan uh, videos. Um, You can find more about that on his website. Anyway, um, thanks for being with us. Um, We're now on iHeartRadio in addition to iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, TuneIn, Pandora, and Stitcher, um, and numerous other places where podcasts can be found. So you have no should have no trouble finding us. And we're also on uh, YouTube uh, as well. So thanks again uh, for all of you. Spread the word. 
rate, please rate us on iTunes. We'd love to hear what you think. Uh, you can send your comments to BeatlesNewsDesk at gmail.com. And until we talk to you again, Steve Marinucci saying thanks for listening to Beatles News Briefs and have a great day.